All right, straight out of a science fiction movie, thousands of people will soon be scanned in seconds as they cross the border. Really high tech. Uh, new at 6, 10 News reporter Joe Little got a behind the scenes look at this new technology that's expected to make our country safer. This is one of the walkways to the Otay Mesa port of entry. Thousands of people use it every day to go in and out of the United States. Now the Customs and Border Protection, they're using a new technology at the end of this walkway to find out exactly who's walking through here every day. It's a constant flow at the border. Through Otay Mesa, we have about 9,000 pedestrians that enter the country every day. Keeping track of all of them isn't easy, not without backing up traffic at the port of entry. So Customs and Border Protection is using these. They're machines that track a person's biometrics. Biometrics are characteristics that are unique to each individual, such as a fingerprint. These machines scan your passport. And then they will go the additional step of taking an image of either their face or their iris. It's a lot like the Tom Cruise movie Minority Report. Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Welcome back to The Gap. Cameras on the walls read a person's eyes and know instantly who they are. Same thing at Otay Mesa. And it ensures that the person in front of us is legitimately who they are. Assistant Port Director Carmen Rodriguez says it will help them track when people come and go and do it quickly. It will also raise red flags when someone doesn't leave. We think it's very impressive and we're very hopeful that this is going to help us as an agency get to where we need to be. They're testing the equipment now. If it works out, they'll use them at other ports of entry across the country. In Otay Mesa, Joe Little, 10 News.